Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Say hi, babe. Hey. <laughs> Our house is a little messy. Zoe's in trouble. But we are getting ready to go to a Halloween party. I'm gonna be showing you guys what my costume is because it's super cute. Uh, okay, so I haven't dressed up for Halloween like in so long. I mean, I've done like a costume or two, but I haven't really like fully committed to like a full outfit. This video is also done in partnership with Maybelline. Just wait until you guys see this, this, this costume. It looks so good. Boo! Are you coming? So, here we are in my beauty room. I'm not using my main camera today because this is kind of like a vlog style, so we're just gonna keep it vloggy in that way. It's hot in here underneath these lights. Maybelline reached out and asked me to do a decades look. Just wanted me to collaborate with them on a decades look, any look that I wanted. And I was just like, this is the perfect look. She dressed up as a housewife from the 1960s. And I've also always wanted to do this look. I was always very intrigued when I saw this video. I was like, oh my gosh, she looks amazing. Although like half the makeup's ruined by tears and everything. She killed the housewife look. I am going to go ahead and put some gloss on my dry lips. I'm gonna be dressing up as Beyonce dressed up as BB Homemaker in her Why Don't You Love Me video. This is the first time I'm dressing up for anything Halloween wise. You guys can probably see my wig right here in the back. Abner came over earlier today and did my wig for me. I got my jumpsuit or little leotard made by Lavi by CK. She does amazing work and she's done some really awesome things. She's done some really awesome pieces for me. She did the Emmys piece that I wore, that green one. I've already got my martini glass ready. Cheers, but it's actually champagne and it's got olives in it. I don't know how good this is gonna be. It's not good, so I won't be drinking that. So that's what we're doing today. That is the vibe. I had to get the phone last minute. I literally just got back into town yesterday. I'm about to put on a wig cap. I'm very particular about my wig caps. Like, I need them to match my skin tone. When I find a good one, I stock up. And this is a good one. I'm gonna start with priming my face. I'm gonna use these two primers from Maybelline. I'm gonna use the Master Prime, the Hydrate and smooth and then the blur and smooth. I'm gonna put the hydrate and smooth pretty much everywhere So I'm putting the hydrating and smoothing one all over And then I'm gonna put the blur and smooth in the t-zone I'm gonna let you guys know products that are new to me that I'm just trying out it blended out fine Ooh, it looks really nice in the t-zone and then I'm gonna use the Maybelline Superstay Stick Foundation. This one is not new. You guys already know how much I love this foundation. I don't know if you guys can see, but I burned my ear. It doesn't hurt as bad as it looks, like I promise you guys. I burned it while I was during, while I was at YouTube Black, which has nothing to do with YouTube Black, but I burned it there. I was hurrying, so it's still pretty fresh. I don't like this brush. I thought I would like it, but I don't. It's not as stiff as I would need it to be. What are you guys dressing up for Halloween this year as? This is my first time fully committing and actually fully committing and then also going to a Halloween party. The only quote unquote Halloween party I've ever been to was like taking my baby sister's trick or treating or something like that, which is not even a Halloween party. So we're just gonna touch up where we need it. Usually it's just around my mouth area. So now I'm gonna take the shade 370 and I'm gonna use that as like a concealer shade, ooh, that's gonna look a sponge, and just blend that in. We just hit 400K on Instagram! Oh my god, I'm so excited! Thank you guys! That's crazy. That actually blended out really nicely underneath there. The only thing is it's hard to get right underneath there with this thick stick. The formula of the stick foundation, guys, is unmatched. Unmatched. Like, I'm so obsessed with it. Okay, so. My other camera died, so we're just going to zoom right on in. I'm going to use the Super Stay Foundation in the shade 375 Java to just lightly set underneath my eyes. This shade is like almost such a good match. It literally matches 370 perfectly. bronze all over the rest of my face. So next is brows. I'm using the Brow Ultra Slim Pencil. This is actually one of my favorite drugstore brow products. And she did have a pretty dark brow, 
So I am gonna go on top of this with a darker shade here in a little bit. I'm gonna use this Define Align, and I think it's supposed to be an eyeliner, but I'm gonna use it just to like make my brows a little bit darker, as in the shade Ebony, Ebony Black. It is a very dark product, but I know she has pretty dark brows. Yeah, that's perfect. This is perfect. Do you guys prefer to go like ugly Halloween costume or do you guys prefer like a more glamorous costume? I feel like I just would feel, I don't know. And that's not that I wouldn't feel comfortable in an ugly Halloween costume, but I just feel better in like a more glamorous. But I think one day I do want to do an ugly costume. I just don't even know what that would look like. I'm just using the smudger tip to kind of just smudge and clean. If you guys have already went to a Halloween party, let me know what you guys went as, because I really, really want to know if you guys went as something ugly or something more glamorous, or if you even celebrated, shoot. <laughs> just like that, all oh, that. <laughs> so I think that is good for my brows. Her brows didn't look like that precise and perfect. So I don't want to do that or else I mean, I could do that, but I really don't want to go divert too much away from how she's really looked. So now I'm going to go ahead and prime my eyelids. I'm just going to run some primer over my eyelid. I do have to do a cut crease today, which I haven't done in so long. But this is what her eye makeup looks like. So that's what we're going to be doing today. I'm going to use these two palettes right here from Maybelline. This is the 24 karat nudes, and then this is the City Mini palette in matte. These two right here, just to create that look. So I'm starting with a flat brush, and I'm gonna go into this gray shade right here. It's not gray, it's just a really dark neutral brown. And this isn't a black shade, because I'd rather start off with a, dark, with a lighter brown shade, and then go in with the black shade once I'm so now I am going to go into that black shade. I'm going to put that right underneath. And this doesn't have to be nice and neat or anything. That's why I'm kind of like freehanding this because I'm going to put eye drops in my eyes and it's pretty much going to ruin everything, which is the point. <laughs> So now I'm gonna cut the crease. I'm not gonna worry about being super precise or anything because like I said, we're gonna ruin it anyways, but I do kind of want the crease to look as defined as hers kind of looked. So then now I'm gonna go in with this white shade right here. This one, it's kind of shimmery as well. So I'm just gonna pop that onto the lid. We're getting somewhere. Okay, and then I'm just gonna go straight into the bottom with the pencil as well. blush I'm going in with this fit me blush in leash number 55 so I'm taking the master chrome highlighter in molten gold and I'm gonna go just a little light she doesn't look like she has too heavy of a highlighter on so I'm just gonna go in super light with the highlight and then last but not least before I put on the eye drops or put in the eye drops I'm gonna use the super stay ink crayon and I'm just gonna pop a little bit of that on my lip because I think she had like a pretty simple, oh, perfect, perfect. All right guys, the wig's on. <laughs> Looks so good, Amna did so good. Look at this. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the drops in now. Hopefully it does what I need it to do. Hopefully I have enough black underneath there. If not, then I'll go ahead and add a little bit more just to like help it out. No, it's not really moving like I need it to. Okay, so I'm gonna have to draw. We got some movement. Probably just gotta put like one more in each eye and I think we are gonna get something. I'm just helping it out a little bit, just like adding a few little extra streaks. I'm gonna use these really big lashes. Did she do it or did she do it? Okay, this is how it looks. Abna came through with the hair. It looks amazing. I've got the martini glass right here. Now I gotta go get dressed and put on the outfit. Then I'll show you guys the completed look. All right guys, so this is the vibe, the fit. 
Abna did such a good job with the hair. Lavi did a really good job with bodysuit. Let me step all the way back so you guys can see the full outfit. I still haven't unpacked, literally just got here yesterday, so. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you to Maybelline for sponsoring today's video, and I really hope you guys have enjoyed it. Lots of love, and I will see you guys next time.